The Bears, the Bears has been waiting all kickoff. week for this one. Get ready, folks. Number the opening 18, kickoff 18, is finally 18. here. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. They'll give it off here. Two-yard loss for the halfback. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 42. He has some room. Makes it out to about the 49. That's a deep one. That makes, that makes it 33. Over the middle, got his tight end. He's tackled at about the 45. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination again. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Number 26 with the tackle at the 45-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And this play is number eight on the drive. it out through his hands number nine was the intended receiver on the play that'll make it fourth and ten he's going to try to cough and corner this one Baylor's a team and a program that year in year out's got thousand yard rushers sometimes they've got two and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that he's way there. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage, it's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. down pick up by the tailback you can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms that makes it first and ten Mike 52, just throws this one away it's second and ten ball on the 25 Hands it to the back. He's to the 40. And they push him out at the 47. Carries the ball. Call it again at 22 yards. First down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Dog kill kill. Red 7, Red 7. check 25. Hand off to the right. He takes it right side for a good game. Seven yards. That makes it second and two. Kill, kill, kill! Gun is green. Seven. Up the middle for a nice game. The ball carrier. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. Fifty-two. Fifty-two is the mic. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Five, green, fifteen, five, twenty-five. 
and he's tackled around the 39-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. And he throws it away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. He flings it. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Easy, here we go, here we go, here we go. Easy. Where? Where? And down he goes around the 17 yard line. Gain of four. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. After decent pickup. That's a team of six on the play. First down. Black kill, kill. Black five. Two. Three, eight. That's the Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He would tackle immediately. And they'll lose a yard there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. And here's the 14th play of the drive. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he adds the extra point. So a 14-play, 85-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-0. The Bears are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Rose, incomplete. They got a hand on it. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Complete. He's got room. Out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Yard loss, and they get a nice defensive play. Now here's a play you don't see very often. That, that time they brought pressure team. from the corner position, and the line couldn't pick him up, and he was able to wrap the quarterback up for a sack. That's a good defensive call. And here's another third down. Go, go, go. Three, three, three. Go, go. 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 Go, go.
Dobbs it complete to the halfback over the middle. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Bears lead it 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Baylor is up by a touchdown. He gets rid of this one. Third down at a couple of miles here. Ball on their own 16. And he's going to come up with a sack. away and it's a booming punt he makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line there hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams in games like this some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes rid of this one great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now i think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled second down 10 to go ball on the 46 yard line fires out quickly to the tailback and they got to him before he could get back to the line that brings up third and ten He wants it all. On the pass, touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT with a three-play, 46-yard drive. And the result, seven points. We're even at seven in this one. Iowa State to kick. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Three down, three down. Where's 52? Watch 52. Red two. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's taken down at the 48. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. Red two. Red seven, red two. 20. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. 
from their own 48-yard line. It's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. They come out in a five-wide set. Right two. They'll bring him down right around the 40. That makes it first and 10. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kill. Green nine. Two. Green nine. Go. He's knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires it out. And he shoved out of bounds at the 24. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide hey, set. Kill, 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 kill. Kill. Black five, seven, black five. Eight, Backward pass, that's a fumble. It's picked up by the quarterback. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. Heads up play to get on top of the ball and allow them to maintain possession. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And he hits him hard at the six yard line. That makes it first and goal. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Watch 14, watch 14. Where's the red two? Hey, next 24. Touchdown, Bears. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Baylor kicked this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's level at the 26 yard line. Loss of six on the way. That'll make it 39. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Booming kick. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 34. He showed a good burst there. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. Baylor second is up seven. Get to that quickly. 
He gets hit out of bounds at about the 41. Call it a gain of 21 yards. First down. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at the 33 yard line. Gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. Fires out to his receiver, and he will score. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 29. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Iowa State's going to take their first time out of the half. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 29. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he tackles them hard at the 22-yard line. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. He goes downtown. And a great catch. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Iowa State gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Aaron and out long. Tipped away. Alert read on that play. He didn't have too much time to react to that pass. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Baylor up seven points. Dog four. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll get two on that one. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. He is drilled at the 38. Check, check. Dance, dance. Check. That makes it first and ten. Black five, black five. Blue 20. Going deep. And it's picked off. It's the safety. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. First and 10, ball on the 24-yard line. And he just gets rid of it.
So the ball will change hands, and that'll be first down. This guy is about as sure-handed as they come, but fumbles do happen, and you can chalk this turnover up to a very aggressive defense. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and two. Throws back the other way, incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying throw it throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm stepping and throwing and that time he aimed the ball and it was incomplete he tried to force it to a man that wasn't open and boy was he lucky it wasn't picked off he's got to be more careful when throwing the football into the end zone baylor can make this a two possession game with this field goal Kicks away, and they tack on three points. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And that'll do it for the first half. 24-14, Bears. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. It's a two-score game at the half. I know things are going as many expected they would. I don't. I got a gut feeling. Maybe uh -oh. it's just from listening to you in the first half, but maybe uh, maybe an upset still in the making here, despite the deficit. Could just be some gas bubbles. You never know in that stomach of yours, Reese. Oh, but oh, um, oh. Uh, you know, I, I think Chilly that they can. Yum. <laughs> I think it can. I, they're a team that. It doesn't seem like they're scared of the moment. Has it? Has everything gone perfectly? No, but they still look like a team that's kind of, they're still swinging. They, they're not backed in the corner and afraid to swing. It looks like that they're going to fight. They got to put a few more things together. Do they have to catch some breaks? Absolutely. Is things going to have to fall their way in the second half? Yeah, but I think they're a team that they, they might be a little bit up for the challenge. Maybe you're feeling something there. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense, ready to get things going again. Makes his way out to about the 35. I know he ain't got it. First down. 52. Easy. Easy. Flair. Flair. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. Easy. Easy. Flair. He has some room. That's a great tackle at the 49. Game of 10 on play. First down. Roger, Roger. Get the running back. 22. Easy. Green, 9. 20. Throws this one out to the left. And he's hit immediately. That makes it first and 10. Right here. Kill, black, kill, kill! Black, 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 blue, black, four, blue! Black, black, black. He makes it to the 35-yard line. 
Catches it, and that's all. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Three down, three down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, eight. And now he's got room to run. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Three down, three down. Three, nine, three, nine. Yellow, three. Seven, red, seven, yellow, ten. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. Good stop there by the freshman. You gotta be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. And they make the stop at the two-yard line. That makes it still in goal. The halfback picks up a yard. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one-yard line. Touchdown, Baylor! Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. And he adds the extra point. An 11-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our score, 31-14. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Down he goes at the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Check three, check three. Makes it out to about the 36. That's a game of eight on the ground. First down. There we go. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Caught out in the open. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. That makes it second and two. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. That makes it third and seven. From their own 40-yard line, it's third down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number 18, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. They come out in an empty backfield. Throws in the middle, and he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They'll bring him down at the 35. That's good for 
Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. The 23 yard line. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's they come out in a five wide set. This one's going deep to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. And they're not ready to quit just yet. That's TD pass number three. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. The Bears had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you could say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Tackle right around the 30. That's good for the nine yards. Tight end right. That brings in second and one. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Easy, easy. Flair. Blue 20. Check hot route. Hot, hot. There's a fumble. And the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. I tell you, when the option works, it can be beautiful to watch. But when it doesn't, it can go horribly wrong. Not a good result for the offense. last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a five yards. That'll make it second and four. And he's taken down at the 27. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. Third down. So at the end of three, the Bears lead it 31-21. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He lets it go. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. So obviously a lot of excitement about that score here early in the fourth quarter, but they've got to get their heads back in it now. We've got a tight football game and a long way to go. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He makes the PAT. Iowa State to kick. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. Baylor is up a field goal. He scrambled. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Motion, motion, motion. 
Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Call it a loss of four yards on the ball. That'll bring up third and nine. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Mike 52, Mike 52. This is party now. Woo! Red two. Go. Go. Brought down at the 32. Number 10 brings him down at the 32 yard line. Fourth down. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The Bears kept climbing and scratching their way back in this football game. You can never count anybody out, I guess. Isn't it amazing to see what momentum can do in college football? This team right now has captured momentum. It's on their side. Now can they ride that wave to the end and try to win this game? Ready! He makes it to the 42-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it 67. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. the first down catch. Tackle made at about the 35. Up the middle. They'll get him for a loss. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Less than three minutes in the game. He gets sacked on the play. That's a loss of seven yards. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. He heaves it deep. No, incomplete. Number one. That makes it fourth and long. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Got it on the quick throw. Makes the reception. Number six with the tackle at the 27 yard line. Mike 52, Mike 52. That'll bring up second and three. Easy, easy. easy. three. Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop at the 38. The Cyclones will use their first time out of the half. First and 10. Ball on the 38. Just throws this one away. So not only did they risk an interception, but now they've given them more time. I just don't get it. Just under two minutes in the game. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. Three. 
steps out of bounds at the 43. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Iowa State still got a chance here. They might come up short, but not for lack of trying. Well, I've been impressed with this team the entire way. Now we're going to really find out what they're made out of. With the game on the line, late in the ball game, how do you go out and execute? Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Spikes the ball. Third and five. Ball on their own 25. Quick pass, intercepted. And they'll return this one all the way. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Bears. Baylor's staff, they've got to love the fact that they've got this kid in this situation week in and week out. Yeah, I mean, they know that when the chips are on the table, they've got to find a way to be able to get him his touches, and this time he steps up in a big way for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he's going to come up with a sack. Just over a minute left. And he stops the clock with a spike. 
It's third down and a long way to go. Ball on the 17. Throws complete. Big loss. That was a loss of four yards. Fourth down. quick they'll spread the field here let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook he lets it fly has it to the senior inside the 30 the 10 touchdown Iowa State here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game and he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. Tackle at the 44. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. From the 46-yard line, second down. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Baylor has a three-point lead. Red two, green eight. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say, that won the ball game. The Bears know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye and we'll see you next time.